For millions of years, Betelgeuse has burned as one of the brightest jewels in our night sky. Yet recently, this colossal red star has started to fade, like a cosmic heartbeat slowing down. Scientists warn it could be the signal of something extraordinary. A supernova so bright it might outshine the moon itself. Imagine stepping outside and witnessing daylight at midnight. Could it really happen in our lifetime? The universe just dropped a mystery we can't afford to ignore. High above us, the night sky stretches like a velvet showroom, each star sparkling as if polished for display. But among these distant lights, one steals the spotlight, Betelgeuse, a fiery red giant perched on the shoulder of the constellation Orion. To the casual eye, it's just another star. But in reality, Betelgeuse is an absolute titan, nearly a thousand times the size of our sun, burning with a crimson glow that whispers of both beauty and danger. If our sun were swapped with Betelgeuse, its surface would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars. This isn't just a star. It's a behemoth, a cosmic luxury model designed to make every other light in the galaxy look modest by comparison. What makes Betelgeuse so mesmerizing isn't just its scale, but its unpredictability. For centuries, humans have gazed at its ruby shimmer, comforted by its steady brilliance. Yet recently that steady glow has faltered. In 2019, astronomers around the world watched in disbelief as Betelgeuse dimmed dramatically fading to just a fraction of its usual brightness. For a star, this massive dimming isn't like a flickering streetlight, it's like a supercar engine, sputtering mid-race. Something extraordinary, perhaps catastrophic, could be happening deep within its core. The James Webb Space Telescope and its cutting-edge instruments now act as our cosmic dashboard, tuned to pick up every detail. The telescope doesn't just see light, it dissects it layer by layer, revealing secrets our eyes can't. Imagine a luxury car's high-tech display showing hidden performance data. Only here, the readout is about the fate of a star that could alter how we see the night sky forever. Scientists are on edge. Enthusiasts are glued to their feeds and the question hangs heavy in the air. Why is Betelgeuse acting so strangely now? Because if this titan of a star is preparing for its final act, the universe might soon unveil a spectacle unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. When Betelgeuse began to fade, it wasn't just a minor adjustment in brightness. It was a seismic jolt to the entire astronomy community. Imagine driving your favorite luxury car, and suddenly the dashboard flickers red, warning of something far more serious under the hood. That's what scientists felt when telescopes worldwide picked up the sudden dimming of this colossal red. Supergiant. For a star that has burned for millions of years with near consistent brilliance, the drop was shocking. So sharp, so undeniable, it demanded immediate attention. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most advanced set of cosmic eyes, quickly locked onto the anomaly. Its instruments dissected Betelgeuse's glow with surgical precision, revealing details that ground based telescopes could never capture. The results were staggering swirling clouds of dust, chaotic convection currents, and a surface that seemed to tremble as if the star itself were struggling to hold itself together. Betelgeuse wasn't just dimming. It was behaving like a dying giant taking ragged breaths before a monumental finale. And here's where it gets electrifying. Some astronomers whispered the unthinkable. Could this be the beginning of the long-anticipated Betelgeuse supernova? If the star were collapsing, the explosion would be visible from Earth with the naked eye brighter than the full moon, casting shadows at night. Picture stepping outside your home and looking up at a sky dominated not by the moon, but by the brilliant burst of a dying star. For weeks, even months, this spectacle would outshine every other object except the sun. But the mystery deepens. Other researchers argue the dimming could be something far less apocalyptic, Massive ejections of stellar material temporarily blocking the star's light like a veil of dust thrown across the lens of a camera. So is Betelgeuse collapsing or simply shedding layers in a stellar tantrum? That's the question driving late-night debates in observatories worldwide. Whatever the explanation, one truth is certain. Betelgeuse has shattered expectations, forcing us to rethink what we know about the life cycles of stars. 
And if this fading giant really is preparing for its cosmic finale, the countdown clock might already be ticking. When the news of Betelgeuse's dimming hit the astronomy community, the reactions came fast and fierce. Some scientists leaned forward in their chairs with the excitement of gamblers watching the roulette wheel slow down, convinced that the jackpot, a once-in-a-lifetime supernova, was finally within reach. Others, cooler in tone but no less captivated, cautioned that what we were seeing might not be the star's death rattle, but just one of its dramatic mood swings. The voices of authority clashed, each perspective adding more intrigue to the unfolding mystery. Take Dr. Edward Guinan, one of the first to ring the alarm when Betelgeuse began to dim. His studies compared the star's fluctuations to a heartbeat, normal, for red supergiants, but not at this scale, not this suddenly. Then there are NASA scientists armed with data from the Hubble and now James Webb, suggesting the fading light might have been caused by a colossal plume of gas and dust erupting from Betelgeuse's surface, temporarily obscuring its glow. In other words, the star might just be coughing, not dying, yet not everyone is convinced. Some theorists whisper that the anomaly fits too perfectly with models of a star nearing collapse. To them, every dip in brightness, every irregular shiver in Betelgeuse's surface is another clue that we're on the brink of witnessing history. The comparison is irresistible. Watching Betelgeuse is like standing trackside, hearing a supercar's engine roar and sputter, never knowing if the next second will bring a clean sprint or a catastrophic breakdown. And here's where the debate gets fascinating for the rest of us. Experts don't just disagree. They're staking their reputations on interpretations. Some confidently predict Betelgeuse will stabilize, brightening again as dust clears, Others suggest that even if a supernova isn't imminent, it could still happen soon in cosmic terms, meaning tomorrow or a hundred thousand years from now. That enormous uncertainty is both thrilling and maddening. So who do you believe? The cautious analysts who see dust and turbulence, or the bold visionaries betting on a cosmic explosion in our lifetime? One thing's certain, whichever side proves right, the stakes are nothing less than rewriting how we understand the drama of stars. The beauty of a mystery like Betelgeuse is that it doesn't just belong to scientists, it belongs to all of us, sparking theories that ignite debates across lecture halls, podcasts, and even late-night Reddit threads. At the core, there are two camps, the grounded and the speculative. Both pull us in, like contrasting luxury car models, each sleek in design, each offering a radically different ride into the unknown. The scientific theories start with the most elegant explanation, dust. Massive stars like Betelgeuse are notorious for violent ejections of stellar material, and one prevailing idea is that we simply witnessed a colossal burp of gas and dust drifting in front of the star and dimming its light. It's not the star dying, these scientists argue, but rather the cosmic equivalent of throwing a silk sheet over a spotlight. Another explanation points to Betelgeuse's pulsations. Like a beating heart, the star expands and contracts in cycles, and during a particularly deep contraction, its light output could plummet, fooling us into thinking it was collapsing. Then come the theories that stir the imagination. Some suggest Betelgeuse might not follow the rules we expect. Perhaps it's revealing new physics we don't yet understand like hidden instabilities in massive stars that have never been documented. A few push further, flirting with the idea of extraterrestrial engineering. Could a megastructure, perhaps built to harness the energy of this titanic star, be obscuring its light? Far-fetched, yes, but captivating enough to capture attention online and in pop culture. After all, cosmic mysteries often blur the line between science and science fiction, these competing visions don't cancel each other out. They create a magnetic tension, drawing us deeper into the story. Is Betelgeuse simply shedding layers? Like an aging performer? Or is it preparing for an explosive finale? And if it is, are we ready to witness such an event? The theories aren't just answers. They're cliffhangers, leaving us suspended between the comfort of science and the thrill of speculation. Just when astronomers thought they had Betelgeuse figured out, the star pulled off a twist worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster. After the dramatic dimming event that left the world buzzing, Betelgeuse did something unexpected. It began to brighten, 
again, but not in the calm, steady way one might anticipate. Instead, it surged and dipped like a cosmic heartbeat gone erratic, flashing signals across the void that seemed to defy the neat theories crafted in observatories and labs. It was as if the star itself were teasing us, throwing out just enough evidence to keep us guessing, while hiding the true nature of what's happening deep inside its fiery core. This recovery wasn't smooth. Data revealed unusual patterns in the star's luminosity, like an engine revving too high one moment and choking the next. For scientists, it was both thrilling and terrifying. If the dimming was just a dust cloud, then why was the rebound so turbulent? And if it was the early rumblings of a supernova, why hadn't the collapse come yet? Betelgeuse wasn't closing its case. It was opening a brand new chapter, one filled with contradictions. Imagine a luxury car unveiling, where just as you think you've seen the crown jewel feature, the hood lifts to reveal something even more. Extraordinary. An engine with a power source no one expected. That's the vibe Betelgeuse is giving off. Its surface seems to ripple with convective currents so large they could swallow Earth whole, while plumes of gas erupt and cool in unpredictable ways. It's a spectacle so grand our most advanced telescopes struggle to capture the full picture. The James Webb Telescope, peering into infrared wavelengths, now shows us textures in Betelgeuse's atmosphere that look less like a star and more like a living, breathing organism on the verge of transformation. And here's the cosmic twist. That raises the stakes. Betelgeuse isn't just dimming or brightening. It's changing in ways that suggest something far more complex. Some researchers report that its very shape is shifting, no longer appearing as the perfect glowing sphere, but bulging and warping under internal stress. Could this be the physical distortion of a star about to collapse, or could it be the aftermath of one of the largest stellar eruptions ever recorded? Either possibility rattles the imagination. We are left with a star that behaves like a riddle wrapped in light, daring us to solve it. Every surge and dip is like a coded message, every irregularity a hint of what's to come. The cosmic twist isn't just Betelgeuse's behavior, it's the realization that no matter how advanced our instruments become, the universe still has the power to outpace our understanding, to hold back its final reveal until the very last second. And that means the most thrilling part of this story may not be what we've already seen, but what's about to unfold. If Betelgeuse truly is nearing its finale, the stakes are nothing short of cosmic history unfolding before our eyes. On one side of the spectrum lies pure ore, a supernova so brilliant it would outshine the full moon, visible even in broad daylight. Nights across the planet would glow under its light, a celestial beacon reminding us of the universe's raw power. For months, perhaps even years, humanity would live under a second sun, every glance skyward a front row seat to the greatest light show our species has ever known. But awe is always paired with unease. A supernova is not just fireworks, it's an explosion releasing unimaginable energy, sending shockwaves of radiation and particles racing across the cosmos. Thankfully, Betelgeuse sits roughly 640 light-years away, far enough to shield us from lethal consequences, but close enough for scientists to study the event in unprecedented detail. Yet even with that distance, the sheer reminder of how fragile our place in the universe is cannot be ignored. Betelgeuse's fate is not just an astronomical event, it's a cosmic mirror reflecting both the majesty of creation and the inevitability of destruction. In its shimmering uncertainty lies the lesson. The night sky is not fixed, it's alive, and it can change forever in the blink of an eye. So here we stand, beneath a sky that may never look the same again. Betelgeuse, that crimson beacon perched on Orion's shoulder, has reminded us that even the brightest giants are not eternal. It's dimming, it's flickering, it's strange recovery. They are not just curiosities of science, but signs that the universe is writing a new chapter one that we may be lucky enough to witness. Imagine future generations asking, where were you when Betelgeuse lit up the heavens? That possibility alone gives tonight's stars an entirely new weight. And yet, the ending isn't written. The supernova could erupt tomorrow, dazzling, the world with brilliance, or it could wait another hundred thousand years, leaving us only with tantalizing hints. That tension 
That mix of awe and uncertainty is what makes this moment so extraordinary. We are watching the cosmos hold its breath, and we don't know when it will exhale. So as you look up tonight, ask yourself, are you ready to see the night sky change forever? Share your theory in the comments, join the conversation, and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. Because the next great revelation of the universe could arrive when we least expect it,